It was a scary day. We mm -hmm. we knew at 30 weeks that Sebastian was going to be small. Um, we knew that he had congenital heart disease, but we didn't know <laughs> everything else. They did a prolonged monitoring test on him and the baby wasn't very active. So they sent us to the hospital. Dad was at work and um, they did another scan and basically our OB came in and he said, you're gonna meet your son in two hours. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you get a call and say, hey, come meet your son. So it's like, <laughs> okay, awesome, let's do it. So um, it was exciting, but it was scary obviously at the same time because yeah. we knew it wasn't time, but it, we knew it was time for him. He was about the size of Gio's hand from his fingertip to his wrist when he was born. Yeah. He was so small. Having a natural birth was not an option for Sebastian. He wouldn't have survived through a natural birth. So we had a C-section and the only thing I remember is looking over to my right and seeing Sebastian being intubated. That was my first introduction to motherhood, is my baby getting put on a breathing tube. When I first saw him, it was like surreal because he was so tiny and obviously he was very discolored, so you don't know what to expect. But he looked like a replica of me <laughs> as soon as I saw him. So, it was, you know, it, it's a good feeling. And uh, like Steph said, his hair was like perfect in a faux hawk. So I'm like, what are the chances? <laughs> yeah, it, it was it was a it was a sigh of relief, I guess, because we actually because he made it. When we first learned about it, it was it felt very overwhelming, and not sure what to expect, um, especially because we've never experienced anything like this in our family. So it was very overwhelming, but I knew that God was going to be there for us along the way and everything was gonna be okay. It really hits you, I mean, but once you think about it, I mean, there's somebody like this pretty boy here comes out, I mean, it's, I think it's, it's natural now. You come and see him every weekend and, and it's good. It's all good, right, Sebastian? We love him to pieces. Um, when Sebastian was born, we obviously we knew he had a heart defect. Um, and then upon being born, he was also diagnosed with encephalopathy, which is a brain disease, big fancy word for brain disease. Um, and then he also has something called Cornelia DeLange syndrome. Hi, Stephanie. This is Divya from Advocate Christ. Um, I'm just calling back to um, discuss what Dr. Tinkle kind of decided after his evaluation. So um, after looking at Sebastian's symptoms and doing some own research himself, he has given a clinical diagnosis of Cornelia DeLange. I like didn't believe it, to be honest with you. I was like, there's no way, like, there's no way. And I still, I even when he was like born, I didn't believe it because he just looked like a really small, like Superman with his mohawk and like his little curl in the front. He just looked like Giovanni. Yeah. And I don't think it was until like days into just being in the hospital and like surgeries that I was like, dang, like this is real. So I was shocked, but I knew that I would still love him the same. And ever since I was just younger, I've always spent a lot of time with special needs kids. And I knew that he wasn't any different than anybody else. Actually, it's a very, very rare disease. Um, one in 10,000 children are born with it. Um, it's basically, it's, it's a genetic muta mutation. So it's not something that's like, like hereditary or something that's carried on in like, your, 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 your DNA, I guess you can say. So um, it's definitely something that we learned that we didn't, I mean, we had obviously never heard about it. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it's, it's something that I, I think researching was very, I guess, helpful for yeah. us because we, we were kind of lost as yeah. to what we kind of did wrong. And we ended up finding out it's not something that we did wrong. It was just something that happens, I guess, along the way. Literally a freak genetic mutation. Yeah. So as a new parents, how do you learn to be thankful for the baby you're given while still grieving the one that you expected at the same time? It's not easy. I think that was the biggest thing yeah. in the beginning was like, how do we enjoy this? I think I did what any, any young mom would do. I. Googled CDLS. His eyelashes, 
are my favorite feature. Mine would be his long curly hair and his stiff legs because he's <laughs> always just like wanting to around. <laughs> yeah, do you want to talk? You have something to say? Yeah? Um, another feature of having CDLS is either extra limbs or missing limbs. So Sebastian has actually a little like nub of a finger. It's pretty cute. He has a lot of things that doctor said that he didn't have. Yeah. Which I still find is 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 very, I guess, crazy. Yeah. Because he he responds to to stimulus. Yeah. Which at first he didn't. It's the his beautiful eyebrows, <laughs> his beautiful the shape of his eyebrows, the beautiful eyelashes, um, his really cute webbed toes that I love. Um, I don't know what hair. you. Oh, his, his hair. <laughs> the amount, the mounds of the hair. Amount of hair yeah. After knowing what we know now, I think looking back, if I could change one thing, um, I wouldn't have Googled Sebastian syndrome. Yeah, I remember you telling me when you Google CDLS, Sebastian's picture is not going to pop up. Exactly. So what does it matter? Exactly. Like we're not, we're not Googling our son. Every kid is different. Yeah. And and that's true. Every single child with CDLS. There's such a large range. Everybody kind of expects to just have a healthy baby. Yeah. And when obviously that doesn't happen, you kind of have to improvise and you have to kind of just grow with him. I, I mean, there's so many different things that we do and we just, we do them because we know yeah. nothing, nothing, nothing else, yeah. nothing besides that. So it's really an eye opener. It really is. I think um, in the last year and a half, what Sebastian has taught me is more than anything Google could have prepared us for, you know, like they don't, they don't tell you all of the special moments that having just a different baby comes with. Nine out of 10 kids um, often have delayed cognitive responses. He's definitely brought more love into our family. We're just very, very grateful that God chose us to be a part of him. Patience, just more love and just more patience. Um, I would say respect and Sebastian is different, but we still love him and I respect him and I try to respect everybody. One minute he's crying, one minute he's laughing and, and that brings you joy. I mean, you can actually feel his love. The severity of CDLS ranges from very mild to quite severe. Regardless, there are often cognitive and developmental delays. Most individuals with CDLS have reflex disease. They also have heart defects, seizures, cleft palate, serious injuries, difficulty with vision and hearing. Typical facial features include eyebrows that meet in the middle, long eyelashes, a short upturned nose, and thin downturned lips. Other features may include excessive body hair and small hands and feet. Common characteristics include low birth weight, often under five pounds, slow growth, small stature, and small head size. If your loved one is diagnosed with something, reach out, find support, and enjoy the journey.